Marbury Prep's on the Upper East Side, right? Yeah, 83rd and 2nd. It's a long walk here, especially after hoops practice. Now, Bobo's Bar is across town from Gallon's apartment. The library's got to be two miles from the Pinkston girls' place. And the flute player disappeared, what, 50 blocks from home? So? So, unless all these girls were training for the marathon, a cabbie would hit all the borough. And a cabbie would have a large wad of small bills. Damn. 25,000 hacks in this town. How come I can never get a cab? Complaints are third floor. By the way, that number doesn't include livery and vans. You sound like a glass half empty kind of guy. I'm just giving you the stats. The guy we're looking for is white, mid 40s, native born. Why do you say so? You eliminate the Africans and the English as a second language crew, the number goes down to 1,500. What about guys that just got their hack license five years ago? I'd have to ask Mr. Computer. Well, why don't you do that? The past two years, I quit the life. Yeah. Paris Hilton begged me to stay at her place in the Hamptons. How could I say no? Man, cut the crap. It hurts, OK? Because the idiot brother-in-law told me the future's in popcorn. What's wrong with popcorn? Uh, nothing. At a movie, you know, he wants to start stores, you know, like Starbucks. Charge a lot, he says. The morons will eat it up like it's... Like popcorn? Exactly. So I mortgage the house, quit the job, we open up one store and never get out from under. And after all this, the wife calls me a bum, takes everything I got left. All right. You want to tell me where you were Sunday night? Right here. Minus the paycheck, because the commissar there gave me a vehicle to wouldn't start. Is that right, Chief? Nothing wrong with that vehicle. He flooded the engine. Cossack. All right, if somebody doesn't give me a straight answer, I'm going to lock everybody up. He was here. We're talking to all the cabbies, Mr. Bruner. Where were you Sunday night? I asked you a question, Mr. Bruner. Mr. Bruner, you're going to have to tell us where you were on the night of the 23rd. 23rd? That was a Sunday. Good. Now that we've synchronized our calendars, where were you? Here. Anybody visit you, Mr. Bruner? Here? Yes. Here. No. Any phone calls? No phone. No TV, either. So how'd you spend the evening? What do you mean? The way you read a book, you do a crossword puzzle? No. So you just sat here by yourself in the dark? Why would I sit in the dark? You want some cheese? Put it down. Pagoda. Drop it. You know, I'd feel a whole lot more comfortable if we talked somewhere where there weren't any sharp objects. I can get you a lawyer, Mark. Why would I need one? to charge me, you would have. You didn't. So why should we waste anyone's time? You sound like you've been through this before. I got an A in citizenship. And I'm very proud of you. You know, I can't help but wonder, and this may just be the cop in me, but I'm a little curious. I'd really like to know why you knocked this girl out before you raped her? I mean, how much fun could that be? Wasn't me. <laughs> I mean, she's just laying there in the cab or wherever. Almost like she's dead. I mean, the only thing I can think of is that you didn't want her to see. See what? Come on, man. Both of us have been in locker rooms. Some dudes got it, some don't. I mean, the girls these days, they've been around. Some of them, they know the difference. Yeah, I guess if a teenage girl were laughing at you, it would be a whole lot easier just to smack her first. <laughs> what? 